Welcome to Lone Star, where I usually review bad movies, but due to popular demand, I'm now going to review today Pirates of the Caribbean 4 on Stranger Tides. I watched the movie yesterday in 3D! And no, just because I had 3D glasses on didn't mean I said Worst joke ever! Even if Jack Sparrow said something really corny. So I shall divide this into positives, negatives and neutrals. The movie was in my opinion better than the last two, but not as good as the original. Mainly because of the fact that the main star in this film is without a doubt now Jack Sparrow, as Will and Elizabeth are not in this film, as quite frankly they were getting old. Besides, why would you make a Pirates of the Caribbean movie without Jack Sparrow? Penelope Cruz as Angelica and Ian McShane as Blackbeard both did a great job at acting. It was quite sexy hearing Angelica in that Spanish accent, and boy does she know how to do sword fights. And Penelope sure knows how to put some gusto into a character. I was wondering throughout the whole movie why so few people were killed in the sword fights. Then you have Blackbeard, who is such an asshole who cares only about himself and his obsession for eternal life. I'll also mention Barbosa, who finally got a good role in this movie as opposed to two and three, and it was quite funny seeing him in the British Navy. However, none of them really compare to Will, Elizabeth, or Davy Jones, who himself at least wasn't one dimensionally evil. I disliked it though that Jack Sparrow spent little time on screen with other interesting characters. It always seemed in the movie that Jack was on his own, or with one of the useless minor characters. Maybe Jack should have instead been with Barbosa and Gibbs, as that would have been very fun, and when they raced to the Fountain of Youth they were able to meet Blackbeard there. There was filler time that should have been used for Jack to have a merry time with Angelica. Another thing I was annoyed about were those darn mermaids. Sure it was good at the start when we saw them, when they were vicious and soul devouring, but when they took Serena, she just became nothing like that. I didn't want Serena to be such an innocent character and go on this pointless romantic subplot between her and devout Christian Philip. Philip didn't actually make anything interesting for the film and was probably used as a way to prove how evil Blackbeard was and give us a nice Christian based lesson. The technical aspect of this movie was great yet again with its use of cinematography. I found the costumes to be very realistic, although I do believe no pirate would ever resemble Jack Sparrow. Also, the period recreation was great and very representative, especially of early 18th century London. But why is London in that era always so cloudy and ugly? So comment down below telling me your opinion of this film or any of the other parts of the Caribbean films and I'll see you next time.